Are you frequently forced to put your life and finances on hold as you wait for your next paycheck? While things may have been different 50 years ago, our day jobs now will never provide us with actual financial freedom. You may have heard the adage, wealthy people are not job hunters, they create jobs. Have you ever been compelled to start your own business but thought it was too much trouble? The truth is, establishing a business appears to be a lot riskier than it is. Contrary to popular belief, Starting a business does not actually require a great deal of experience or capital. Believe it or not, many of them may be created and maintained from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a reliable internet connection, an outdated laptop, and a basic willingness to work on yourself in addition to your job. Now, without further ado, let us dive right in. Number 10. Dropshipping Dropshipping is one of the lowest risk business ideas available. It is a technique of retail fulfillment in which things are stored and shipped without a need to rent a warehouse or contract with a delivery agency. When a consumer purchases a product from your business, it is purchased from a third-party vendor and delivered straight to the customer via another third-party service provider. You are the intermediary who links the buyer and vendor. Investment is minimal since the physical requirements are almost non-existent. This company's strategy does not require a warehouse or a product inventory because items are obtained and transported solely in response to customer orders. The danger of loss is minimal. The model's success is entirely dependent on your marketing abilities and commission rates. Number 9. Selling Online Courses Consider establishing an online course if you have a sought-after ability such as programming, video editing, or even drawing caricatures. Because online courses consist of videos, lectures, and notes, creating one should be a breeze if you're experienced and can succinctly summarize your lessons. Platforms such as Udemy enable you to create, advertise, and sell your own online courses to an international audience. Once your course receives a sufficient number of favorable reviews, it's just a matter of time before you as the developer get recognition, at which point your revenue will increase rapidly. Online courses are a one-time investment and, if your content is good enough, you will quickly start earning royalties. Number 8. Freelancing If you're not interested in filming yourself but possess a certain skill set and you have the marketable expertise, you can earn money as a freelancer. Freelancers are self-employed individuals who perform tasks for an agreed-upon fee. As a freelancer, you may work whenever and wherever if it is convenient for you as long as the project gets done. It's distinct from your day job in that the majority of freelancers opt to provide a service related to their passion. Visit websites such as Upwork.com, Fiverr.com, or Freelancer.com to begin your freelancing career and immediately discover clients. Don't be disappointed if you don't immediately acquire a gig on these platforms, as there is a lot of competition out there. Maintain a positive attitude and continue looking for employment. Once you've accumulated a few positive reviews, clients will come to you rather than you going to them. Until then, Keep in mind that consistency is critical. Number 7. Starting a YouTube Channel Starting a YouTube channel with the express intention of monetizing it and turning it into a full-time profession might appear immensely overwhelming and ultimately demotivating. As a result, it's better to avoid starting with that intention and instead focus on continually submitting high-quality material. While development may be gradual at first, once recognized, YouTube channels may expand incredibly rapidly and be equally lucrative. YouTube compensates producers based on the advertising income generated by their channels, and you can expect to earn between $3 to $5 for every 1,000 views. Once your videos are published, they will continue to generate revenue until you opt to take them down. YouTube enables you to share your talents with the world, contribute to society, and chronicle your life in vlogs. Even if your channel does not grow to be the largest or most popular on the internet, giving it a go is well worth the effort. Number 6. Creating Digital Art for Websites Like Redbubble this is for those who take pleasure in their artistic abilities. If you have designs for t-shirts or mugs but lack the drive to start your own business, try selling them through a print-on-demand service. Print-on-demand services such as Redbubble accept designs and artwork from artists worldwide and offer them for printing on a variety of goods such as stickers, mugs, and t-shirts. You, the artist, just need to upload your artwork to the website. The website will handle everything else, from printing to shipment. You get a commission on each successful order of a product using your design. This is an excellent method to recycle your previous designs and create a passive revenue stream, and it requires almost no labor if you love the process. If you're loving this video, then make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment. Number 5. Starting a Podcast Consider launching a podcast. 
Podcasts are often focused on a single subject or genre, so pick one that appeals to you. It could be something serious, such as politics or world history, or something lighthearted, such as stand-up comedy. You might use your phone's mic, or a free recording program like Audacity. Successful podcasters cultivate a devoted following, which may help them land lucrative product sponsorship arrangements, as well as grow a consumer base for their own goods. Number 4. Running a blog. If you're not interested in investing in a microphone, or believe that conversing with oneself in an enclosed location is not for you, consider blogging. Due to the simplicity of blogging, it has grown to be one of the most popular side hustles available today. Blogging is particularly suggested for prospective authors who lack the patience necessary to produce books and are unable to get stable freelancing work. Your blog, like a podcast, can be about anything. While it takes longer to earn money from your blog, if you have enough visitors, it provides a constant income. Their revenue model is based on Google advertisements, but you may utilize them to include affiliate links, sponsored product links and descriptions, or even promote your own items. Platforms such as WordPress will assist you with creating the first web page for your blog, and after you have a firm grasp on the process, you can take the reins. Number 3. Running and Selling Ebooks Before the internet became as ubiquitous as it is now, publishing a book required major expenditure and the support of a publisher. All that is required today is the ability and desire to produce a fantastic book. As with online courses, publishing ebooks requires a one time commitment of time and work, but may allow you to earn money passively on the side. Because ebooks do not require printing or publication, they demand less of a cash commitment and allow you to focus on your efforts on marketing the ebook. Indeed, if you've prepared to invest a little money, you may avoid writing your own ebook entirely. You may hire qualified ghostwriters to create your book through any freelancing site and the fees start as little as one cent per word. Number two, selling homemade products on Etsy. If you enjoy knitting sweaters, creating artwork, dyeing and customizing clothing, or creating virtually any other type of product that you believe others would purchase, consider beginning a small business selling those things. You can monetize your passion by using websites and platforms like Etsy and Shopify that allow you to sell handcrafted items from the comfort of your own home. As with any other strategy, you can anticipate an exponential increase in sales after your business receives its first few favorable reviews. Numerous shops on these platforms earn enough money to justify changing careers, and yours may be one of them. Keep in mind that you have to start small, work diligently, and be consistent. Number 1. Online Tutoring Consider becoming an online tutor if you want a more hands-on approach to your business. This will demand that you think on your feet in order to find clients, but once you do, the rest of the journey will be a lot easier. Word of mouth spreads quickly, and if you're doing a fantastic job, there's little questions that you'll soon be inundated with suggestions. You can either teach in an interactive style, or host a webinar with time left for questions and answers at the end. You may frequently discover people looking for teachers on websites such as Freelancer.com and Upwork.com, and you can utilize these platforms to expand your clientele internationally. The time zone difference is a significant benefit to foreign clients. If their days align with your nights, managing your lessons and your day job will be a breeze. Great tutors earn excellent pay, so if you believe you will become an excellent tutor, explore this line of employment. Remember that there are a million ways to make a million dollars, and focusing on the one you like most is more likely to lead to success than trying everything on this list. Focus on making the first 10,000, then 100,000, then scale it to $1 million. After that, you can diversify into other asset classes. If you found this video useful, then you'll love these, and be sure to like this video to let the YouTube algorithm know you'd like to see more videos like this one.